Right team, welcome to your injury series. We're gonna get stuck into the feet today. So first things first, with each of our movements that we're looking at and each of the areas we wanna improve, we wanna see that we're actually getting some improvement. So first things first, I'm gonna ask Jess to bring her toe just off the box. And then I'm gonna ask her to push her knee in towards the box. That's it, good. Now the idea here is you wanna see that as runners we've got good dorsiflexion, so we've got good movement through the ankle. So as Jess improves, you'll find she'll be able to take her toes a little bit further back. And as she pushes in, she'll get more distance between the box and her toes. That's what we want as runners. We want good control. Remember, as you're trying that at home and you are doing the test, make sure that the heel stays down on the floor. You've got the good distance between here and here. Some of you may only start with your toes real close to the box. And as you improve, you'll get further back. All right? Now, some of the things we're looking to improve, we're going to do it with these tools. So to start with Jess, I'm going to get you putting your foot onto the roller there and just rolling slowly backwards and forwards. Now those of you who have suffered at home from things like plantar fasciitis, put your hands up. I'm sure there's going to be a few of you. Those of you that have suffered from Achilles pain, put your hands up. Again, I'm sure there's going to be a few of you. Calf strains, hands up. I'm sure again there's going to be a few of you. These exercises, these little routines are going to help you do this. Now golden rule is don't wait for the niggle to come on, do them regularly so that you're not waiting for to get sore, you're preventing it and stopping yourself getting sore. The idea here is Jess is going to roll backwards and forwards across the foot, looking for tender spots, holding for 30 seconds or so, and breathing while she does it. Why is she breathing? Because if she doesn't, she's going to tense up and it's going to make it more uncomfortable. Now a couple of options here. We're using the black roll mini roll. We've also got the black roll balls. So I'm going to get Jess to try this. A bit more tender. So the smaller surface area, the ball is going to get in a little bit deeper. Again, explore around the whole foot. Always good to start around the ball, roll down the arch, around the arch, then up the side of the foot. You don't need to wait and get yourself one of these guys and girls. You can use a bottle. A bottle in the freezer is great as a substitute to this. If you've got a tennis ball at home, cricket ball, a cross ball, golf ball, just careful how much weight you're putting through. And again, seeking out the tender spots, breathing, waiting for them to relax before you move on to the next area. Starting for 30 seconds or so and then progressing up to a couple of minutes on each foot will make a massive difference to your, to your running, your comfort and your injury prevention. Right Jess, nice work. Now you come onto the big roller. So we're going to check out the calves now. Now here Jess is going to roll just backwards and forwards, looking again, seeking out those tender spots. Nice, as she finds them, she's going to hold, breathe. She's going to use her mind to tell that area to relax as well. Nice job. As she gets more comfortable, she can bring this leg over the top. She can lift herself off the floor. Don't go straight to this if your calves are real tender, you progress up to it. Good, and then she can use the, the momentum of her body going backwards and forwards to help relax the tissue as well. Again, obviously doing both sides. From there, Jess is going to come onto her side. Once she's on her side, she's going to have the roller down the side of the calf. She's going to use her core to hold her up. How's that feel, Jess? Feels good. <laughs> really good? Really good. <laughs> so again, this area often will get tight in runners. So making sure that you're holding long enough to get the release. Again, keeping the control with the movement. Jess has got great stability through here and through the elbow as well. Nice work. So the rolling can jump off there, Jess, will start to release the soft tissue. Remember the rules, holding for at least 30 seconds, you can progress it longer when you're more comfortable and making sure that it's mild tension, not pain. Scale of one to 10, if it's anything above a five, you wanna spend some time on it. If it's up at an eight or nine, you're pushing too hard. Okay, you don't want that much tension. So if it's up around a five, six, seven, try and get it back down under a five. If you've got that much weight through the roller that it's up at an eight or nine, it's probably not doing you as much good as it should to start. All right, I'm gonna get Jess to come join me in this position. So what we wanna do now, guys, is get some better movement through the ankles, okay? So one of our favorites, which you'll find when you start this, some of you find yourself in this position. As you get more comfortable, you'll find it easy to relax back onto the feet. And that will start to open up the ankles and get some good range of motion through there. Really cool? Yep. Okay. Next one, from there I'm going to get Jess to come up onto her toes. So tuck the toes under Jess. 
You see there guys, this one's great as you probably feel. It feels really nice. Okay, great for opening up the toes and great for stretching out through the fascia along the bottom of the foot. Okay, again, you stay there as long as comfortable. For some of you, if you lift your bum up, Jess, some of you may only be able to start here and not put all the weight through. That's fine, you progress up to it when you're ready. Ease back down. Feels good. Nice work. Okay, so again, those two options to add in. From there, Jess, can you come up? That movement we started with, so I'm going to get Jess now, toe just off the box, pushing in, holding for a couple of seconds, then easing out. So we're going to work that movement a little bit further and really start to get the, the ankle open. Good, Jess. Perfect. Keep that foot nice and straight. Good. Slide it back. Good, from there, Jess is going to take one leg back, nice and straight, other leg bent. Now this is the traditional calf stretch that most of you are probably doing. Straighten that foot up a bit more for me, that's it. And try and keep a high arch there, that's it, good. Heel into the floor, that again through the nice long part of the calf, okay? That stretch out right over through the big, big part of the calf. This is the one that most runners will do. They've just missed all the bits that we've already gone through in advance. Again, with the stretches, we're looking at holding this for 30 plus seconds, anything up to two minutes. Good, he's out there, Jess. Perfect. Right, from there, come back down onto the mat for me. Good. Now, we spent some time opening up the muscles. Jess is quite fine now, she's probably got better range of movement through the foot. We're going to test again in a minute. All I'm going to ask her to do now, and you can get someone to do this with you at home, is I'm going to put some weight across the front of her foot, pull on the heel of her foot, and get her to pull it against my hand. Good. Hold for a couple of seconds, slowly back. And same again. Good. Now the reason we're doing this, and I want you guys and girls at home to do this 10 or 15 repetitions with a hold of a two second count at the end. So as Jess pulls in, we're really stimulating the muscle here, the tibialis anterior, to tighten up. The reason we want that to tighten up and start working better is it's going to help give you a better arch. It's going to help support the ankle better now that all of this muscle is lengthened. Remember, once you've lengthened the muscle, you want to give it the joints some control as well. It's that muscle that's going to help give it the control. Jess, if you jump back up, let's have a little look now and see if you're getting a better range of motion. Nice. Feeling better through the ankle? Yeah. Good. So remember guys and girls at home, make sure you obviously hit hitting both sides, but start chipping away at this each day. Okay, if you're doing five, 10 minutes a day, if you haven't got time to do the whole routine, just do a little bit of work on the ball or the mini roll. Take some time to roll the calves. If you've got the time, piece together the whole routine, it will give you the results you want. It will start to reduce that pain. Enjoy.